Hi guys, it's Rich with pitlanes.com and today I've got a video of the Ferrari 312 uh, 67 uh, on R Factor 2. This is Chris Amon's car from that period and we're going to drive it around Monaco. Um, it's a scratch build available on Steam Workshop and I just thought I'd give a little tour of the outside um, because it looks awesome. Look at that work with the exhaust pipes looks brilliant um, and the model yeah top notch top notch that is um, all these details love that there's a lot of care and attention that's gone into this I feel um, but yeah let's get it on track and here we are in the seat of Chris Amon's Ferrari 312. I'm going to apologise now for my wheel rattling and my driving because this is difficult to drive to say the very least. The ass end seems to have a mind of its own basically but I do have a strange thing for period cars no matter how slowly I drive them rattle rattle It'd be nice if I got an upgraded wheel for Christmas <laughs> but here we go around Monaco it seemed only right that we come round here in it right but stupid because there's basically no traction at all or grip of any kind really I'm not sure this circuit's been updated to sort of DX11 standards I think it'll just use the shaders and whatnot but I don't think you know it's been given the love but anyway about the car basically no grip ridiculously powerful engine power on oversteer as you'd expect try not to break too late because I will die I'm trying not to be too heavy on the gas pedal because again death will occur quickly just after it makes a loud noise from the engine I gradually feel myself getting a little bit more confident with it I always think that these kind of cars will only suit the most committed of us in sim racing just because the learning curve to drive them when there was the flurry of the um, Lotus 49 getting into what was it, a set of course in iRacing I drove the crap out of that in both sims um, but other period cars haven't quite grabbed me in the same way but now I've got a little bit of heat into these tyres because obviously they're not the grippiest things in the world it does feel a little bit more stable it's coming to me a bit more oversteer there it certainly rewards you for being gentle on the brake pedal backing up the corner and not trying to be a late break hero. Ooh, bit of curb there. Understeer, understeer, so much understeer there. Oh, wind to oversteer. Sorry for rattle. Just wanted to 
show off the content because you know scratch build content always welcome in any of the sims that allow it so credit where it's due and give that guy some exposure available in the steam workshop not sure if i've said that got all the steam workshop everything's just right there for you Dive in there. Under braking. The thing about these classic cars is once you get a feel for them, you just you really want to find that bit extra. Because you ooh, because you're so on the edge, it's just such a satisfying challenge to drive. And I have to say, initially, when I first jumped in this car for a few laps before I started recording, I thought, eh, shall I make a video? Because it, it was difficult, but now I've ran it a few laps and possibly got a bit of heat into the tyres. Oh, as I spin. Ignore this. <laughs> But still, I'll carry on one point. That just goes to show you how much they'll bite you in the ass. It seemed as soon as I got that slide on and overheated the rears, I expected to be able to mosey on, but I guess there was residual heat in the tyres because it felt like there was no grip there through the tunnel there we go let's try and get around here a bit better just on the loud pedal there. I'll just do one more lap. That understeer. These old tyres not giving that much grip. Giving it the beans up the hill. Towards Casino Square. Backed up the corner a little bit to get less understeer. See if I can keep it without losing the rear this lap. Yep. Just within the track there, approaching the oh, approaching the curbing. And falls a lock there. Giving it the beans now through the tunnel once more. Oh, oh, a little understeer into the barrier. Oh, and he's overshot it. Ah, oh, he's overshot it, kids. He's probably killed himself in reality. But there you have it, guys. Scratch built Ferrari in Air Factor 2. Go and check it out on the Steam Workshop. Um, as always, thanks a lot for joining me. Please like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Hi guys, just a quick reminder that on our Facebook page we have all kinds of merch for sale at pretty good prices, good quality too. And also you can get all your uh, Fanatec um, wheels and pedals and everything through there and it helps keep the lights on at pitlanes.com. So if you're going to buy something from there, do it through our website. Cheers guys, see you soon.